to the hip hop, the hippie. My name's Ludo Feely, and I'm a VFX supervisor here at MPC. And we were approached uh, back in February um, by Partizan with a script for Evian to be directed by Michael Gracie. And Michael came to us um, to discuss how we would go about um, creating roller skating babies. We always knew that eventually we would probably have to recreate um, a 3D baby uh, in post-production, which would then be animated um, either with the use of motion capture or just using the animation skills of the animators here at MPC. Um, so we then um, took it upon ourselves to do a test to um, try and prove this method. Initially, the baby was filmed um, against a green screen and he was filmed with uh, a particular movement in mind um, uh, that Michael decided that we would attempt to recreate, um, which was going to be the baby bouncing and then doing the splits. So with that in mind, the baby was, um, was bounced a couple of times and then, um, and then he was sat down on the floor and then picked up again. Um, they then filmed a professional skater doing that move, but the professional skater was also looking at um, what the baby was doing as well with his arms, etc., just to try and give the animators something to go by. And this is where the animators, this is where Dean actually got involved and, uh, and he tried to replicate the baby's action, but also the, the skater's action as well. So he's trying to sort of do an amalgamation of everything here. And did a particularly good job, I think. Uh, and then this is the, the wireframe of the baby tracked into the shot. And then eventually the baby got textured and lit. And the head was tracked in. And then the whole thing was, was graded and shadows were added. Cool. So that was the test that was presented to the agency. And, and that's really how Michael managed to win the job, which was really good news for everyone. So after we'd won the job, um, Michael came to us and it was quite clear um, it was going to be important to do a pre -vis. Um, so we all sat down together and we went through the storyboard which they'd given us, which had all the shots we were potentially going to do. We sat down and discussed what kind of camera moves he wanted for each, each of those shots, how many babies he wanted in there. So from there we sat down with the 3D team and a few of us set out to lay out those shots um, totally in 3D in a very basic form so we could get a good idea of the speed of each shot um, and you know what kind of animation actually worked with the framing because on the storyboard you have a picture and it's very easy to look at a picture and say that's a nice picture but you don't actually know what that's going to look like with the certain camera moves. When we went to Melbourne to film the back plates we were basically filming empty back plates so we needed to know exactly what shot we needed to film and so having, having the previs there was vital so we could get the, the right actions for the cameras so we could put the 3D babies in later. When it came down to animation, we knew that most of the animation was going to be hero hand animated um, scenes, um, but we also knew that there was a lot of work to be done. So some of it was going to have to be motion capture, um, especially the things in the background. So we went to Centroid, who are based in Pinewood Studios, and we had a whole day there filming every shot possible. Whether we used it or not, it was still good because we filmed it with a red camera and various other cameras so the animators had really good reference to work from. And from that point, we took it onto the rig and we animated the babies. And then with the, with the green screen heads that we had, we took the green screen heads and used those as cutouts so we could try and work the animation that we had with the heads because although you have the reference the heads don't necessarily work exactly how you'd want them to so sometimes it's a bit of a in between exactly how the animation should look and then trying to work out how that fits with the baby's head that we filmed we had to make these babies look 100 percent realistic which is a huge task in itself any you know any human or baby 
is very hard to do because we know what they look like and it's we're used to looking at these things every day. So a big problem was the um, skin. We had to get the skin right. We had a lot of reference photos. We knew the, the shape of the baby was correct. But then we had to go onto the skin and make sure that the skin looked real. So we used subsurface scattering for that with you know various different layers. And then displacement maps from ZBrush just to give some shape to the body. Um, you know, bumps and lumps that babies have all very individual to each baby. So each baby would have a a varying map just to make sure that they all look slightly different. Let's observe the effect of Evian on your body. Come on, sit down here. The hip, the hip to the hip, hip, hopping you don't stop. The rocket to the bang, bang, boogie, say up, jump, the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rocking to the beat. And me, the groove, and my friends are gonna try to move, move your feet. feet. See, I am Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello.